Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss about what is the multi-threading in Delphi. And uh, we have the threads and processes, right? So thread, what is the thread? A thread is the flow of the control in the program. Program can have many threads, each with own stack, its own copy of the processes, questions, and related information. And what is the process? The process is the collection of the thread, all the running in a single address space. Every process has at least one thread called the main thread. Here I have created Delphi sample applications. And uh, in this uh, UI part, uh, I've just put one memo where I will display the thread activity. Okay. And on OK button click, I'm just starting the thread and uh, right, and putting the message on the log. And that log basically, it will go and uh, put the data, a string message into the memo. Right. So just see the code uh, first. So here I have created the one the my class and I'm inheriting the T thread class. Okay. And you know that the we have the execute method so that uh, I'm overriding okay. in my T thread class. Okay. And in the main main form, uh, there is the log message, okay, that will go and log the message, what are the activities happening uh, uh, in the execute method, okay. And uh, it will go and log the message into the memo, okay. On button click, what I'm doing, on button click, I'm just creating the ob variable of the t thread class type, okay. And after that, I'm creating the object, the my thread class, and assign it to the my thread variable, right. And when I'm creating the object of the my thread, I'm passing the parameter true. True is the suspended mode, right. So the, the parameter is called the suspended mode. So true means the thread is suspended mode. So object will get created, but it will be in suspended mode. It will not execute in a date once it will get created. Right? And I'm setting the free and terminate to not only free the thread whenever the it is terminated. Okay. And because here the we have created the thread object in the suspended mode, so I need to start if I want to start the thread. So I'm doing in the my thread dot start so the thread will get start and just put the message of the a log okay uh, main thread is started thread is started okay so here the log what it will go it will go and print the message into the add the message into the memo right so in this memo message will get added when my thread will get start what will happen it will go here and in the execute method it will get called so in execute method just i am putting the loop okay so this is the one loop and uh, this will from 1 to 15 and c will be the one second and I'm synchronizing, right? So synchronizing is like, we will use this synchronized method. We can pass the parameter, okay? And that parameter is the, it, it will be the procedure and that uh, procedure will be without a parameter, okay? So I'm just passing a procedure in the synchronized method, okay? And uh, in this procedure, what I'm doing, the form in UI part, I'm just logging the messages, okay? So this complete process will go 15 times because the 15 times loop will go and 15 times our main form UI part will get updated, right? Because this is the complete thread process in there, right? So within when the thread will get start executing, right? If you want to update the UI part, then we need to use the synchronized method. And synchronized method will take one parameter. That will be the procedure, okay? Procedure without the parameter. So here I'm just passing the procedure without the parameter, right? And after that, just again, I'm synchronizing and uh, updating the, the log uh, on the main form. Okay. Thread work completed. So let's run and see. So main thread is started here. And after that, thread is started. So thread execution is start. 1 to 15 it will go. Right. And then finally, the, the next step will be after the end of the loop, next synchronized method will run and here thread work completed so this is all about the threading 